since we took a break, sometimes we come back, we totally forget what's going on, and we die very quickly. Are we gonna die out of the time meter here? Well, seems straightforward. Barricade. Lock. Now we could do Whirlwind, just to get it out of our hands, or we can do Art of War. Now, yeah, it seems very straightforward. I mean, Funeral Pain, do what's gonna be our plan. We don't really have a way to mitigate his multi attack. And. Uh, hmm. I think he was going to free our hand yet again, and we're taking damage. The fact that we're drawing less sucks really bad because we don't have card draw on our deck. It's the number one problem for our deck no battle trends, no card draw. And we're trying to draw into powers, right? So drawing less obviously sucks really bad. We hope that our life is enough to save us, but we could be dead. Just like that, we could be dead very quickly. No disarm. We don't have a weak pot. We don't have any weaken right now. Shut up. Just could be dead. Just like that. And, uh... So that's not the case. What we could do is headbutt. Block just to make sure we have it, but I feel like the cards coming into our... The, Best cards on our deck. But we could just die because we're very low in life. And part of the reason is because... We... Did that damn elite. Reptomancer, which took a lot of our life and that was pretty bad. The strength skin is very important and at this point... Our total focus is dual wield, field of pain scaling, get a lot of block with barricade, maybe do a couple more spot weaknesses, and once we play corruption, we should win the fight because we have enough strength to just end the fight. So, we just gotta survive the next two turns, and we are fine. Now, at some point, he's not gonna attack again. He's gonna survive the next two turns. Now, of course, holding on to True Grit. Is really good once Funeral Pain is out because I get a lot of block out of it. But at the same time, we need block now so we don't die. And also, maybe I can headbutt something like that. I can headbutt something like True Grit or the Weaken even. Maybe the Weaken. So we can guarantee he's weakened next turn. I don't know what's more important. To bring back the Weaken so he's weakened next turn. I don't know if he's attacking or not. Or True Grit should be more block. The thing is... The thing is, um, I wish I knew his AI. Is, is he gonna attack again? Obviously, we want to make sure he's weakened, but it might be more important to get True Grit as a block. Well, at the same time, we also want to draw into Funeral Pain, right? We really can't wait. To, we have to draw into Funeral Pain to a wield. It just needs to happen as soon as possible. The more we had, what the less chances we have, to, you know, a little bit slower. Oh, so you gotta go, Salunas, you gotta get download Better Twitch TV. It's an extension for Chrome. And it's like a face. It's a face that is like, um... Looking scary to world, worried. The biggest problem here is, if, is whether or not he's attacking next turn. Because I want to do headbutt on the block potentially, or the weekend. I don't know. I don't know if he's attacking or not. And again, we get more trigger if we wait, but we can't wait, I don't think. Everybody's effing? That's funny. We'll see. We might F. We might F. It's possible. It's possible. He's attacking next turn. I think we bring the weekend just, just in case he's attacking. I think it's the most mitigation if he's attacking, right? Next turn. We made sure it's probably better, actually. If he's attacking. Okay. One. Play four cards. One. Two. Three. <laughs> the fourth card should be headbutt, then. And we should headbutt back the trigger of the weekend. Despite the fact that we weren't drawn to this.
So Mocha is just the prefix, and uh, it's just that's just the name of the emote. But also, Feed can give us some H some block once we have Funeral Pain up. But that's the least of our worries. So, do we bring back True Grit or the Weaken? Or are we trusting that he's not attacking? Or even if he is attacking, we really want to draw into these cards because we only have four card draw. And I can't afford to not draw into this. What's the worst case scenario that we draw into? Like Madness, Clash, Cleave, Percenter's Bane. And I would say, like, Funeral Pain by itself is okay because of Corruption. So, with that in mind, it kind of makes sense to keep spot weakness because we want a skill. I think we just bring the true grit. Because the skill could be important. If we draw into Funeral Pains and nothing else, then we can at least use this to get some block. This is a skill. Okay, we only have to draw four cards, so one of them going to be true grit. Oh god, this could be the end. Could the weaken save me more than that? Maybe this was a mistake. If we did Sentinel, we can get more energy too, right? Okay. We got the Weaken. And we got True Grit. It's fine. Now we just gotta make sure that we can survive next with the dual wield Fatal Pain. Should be fine here. I'm not gonna corruption just yet. Let me see. We got the weaken, plus we got block. So he's doing around like 23, and then we have we have enough block here. So we're fine. And then we just, once we get to win a pain, we should be able to win the fight. If I do corruption, I I, I lose the I, lo I lose the true grit. The thing is, we already have so but corruption means we have two spot still in the deck, so we're going to be getting up to uh, twelve strength. And twelve strength is enough to win the fight. By doing corruption now, I could free up more of my hands. And the next time I can focus solely on doing funeral pain. So by doing corruption now, basically, it's whether or not I want to preserve true grit or not. I could still preserve true grit. I could do true grit and then corruption, and then do shockwave. If I want to preserve true grit, which probably makes the most sense. And I want to say this because I get more out of it with Funeral Pain out, right? Now, in the event that I don't get Funeral Pain, it would have been nice to save my life. Now, the 1 HP is only a problem. I mean, it's not really a problem because we're just going to get a lot more out of Funeral Pain. So 1 HP is fine. The draw sucks, obviously. We got the dual wheel field of pain, and we should win now. See, the one thing I could have done is if I saved corruption, I could have done dual multiple times, but I think energy wise, it's better this way. I, I could maybe could have saved corruption. It's okay. I leave myself with one card. That's fine. Yeah, we are fine.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not enough. So, 12 strength should be enough, right? I mean, the only problem that I didn't like was like... I, I wanted to try to do, save dual wheel, because if I can save dual wheel, maybe I can do some clash stuff. I'm happy with the corruption early though, it's fine. I, I might run out of steam. <laughs> boys, relax. Come on, boys. I can wait for armaments here. We should be fine. So wait, let's see the, map, the, the numbers we have here. So if we get to a full hand, we're looking at 100. Sick. 180. Okay. Boys? 243. So if I get into 243, if I get one more skill, so yeah, full hand plus, you know, 243. If we get one more spot weakness, that's pretty close to lethal. So, anyways, let's play the Evolve. Um, I'm going to keep the trigger for now. And I think I want to do Iron Wave. I want to start pushing for damage because all we, like I said, all we need is the 243. Now, if we play our skills, we could just make our deck very small and basically just finish with attacks. I could make Fiendfire free. I guess it's useful. We can make for armaments here. We can make for armaments, right? If you really want to maximize. I can play like one skill. That's fine. Oh, we want to maybe avoid the weekend, though. No, no, no. We want to go for the one shot. Boys, so 243 not only avoids the split, but then it just kills him. Boys, enough. Enough, 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 enough. Enough. Try to bring the 243. Do I, anything else I want to up, upgrade? So we're weakened now. So we're gonna need... Damn. Should probably be playing Clash more, but I'm gonna need this by weakness here. So not weakened anymore. But I really want to start weakness before I do that. Um I don't want to hold on to true grid so much. I want to make sure we can still have a full hand for Fiend Fire, right? Uh, I want to get swapping this before. But maybe, can we can also just maybe kill him without having to do... I could probably do it a little bit differently, actually.
We're weakened again, but if we wait till next turn... When we're not weakened, we should have lethal, no? Especially if we bring him down now. I want to bring him down to like 243. Or close to it. Well, it doesn't matter because next turn we have, should have... He's not reapplying weaken, right? I don't think he is. In which case I just win next turn. I don't think he's weakening me next turn. I think he's giving me the, the draw reduction, no? If he's doing the draw reduction, then he just dies next turn then. I can play it safe and just do nothing right now. I feel fine. Alright, just win. 33 times 9. I wasn't worried. I mean, I was a little worried when I was like getting slow on the um, funeral pain. I was like, I said we could die. I was like, okay, we could die. Hey, I either die or I don't. It's like, okay, we could die. We we don't if we don't get the right draws and whatever we could die. But as soon as I saw funeral pain and stuff was coming up, I as long as we get that out, we we win the fight. So I was a little worried, but all right. So we can make barricade cheaper. Or we can rest, because resting right now is actually quite a bit of life. Hey, you guys need to stop a little bit. Relax, relax, relax. Shut up. Just don't, you guys can mess around and be boys. Just don't mess with the green screen. I had to put it up four times because of you guys, alright? Look, mess around, but be a little careful around the green screen as well. So if we rest, we can get to full life. Um, we have Pantograph. So let's say the fight goes really well for the Elite. We get Pantograph anyways. Well, I think the fight for the Elite is going to... We're going to take damage. Because again, this, this deck got max HP. So we can take damage. So we can get the scaling out. I don't see what upgrade would be really important. Maybe more weaken. Just the heart. Or... Evolve... No, Evolve Plus is kind of in. I'd say the biggest upgrade probably would be Barricade Plus. To make it a little bit easier to play. But that seems like a non, a non consideration. Whereas also maybe shockwave again, eh? Shockwave should get more debuff. Maybe whirlwind again with armaments in the deck. It feels like, I mean, armaments is not gonna hit all these things. But so what is something that I really want to make sure it's upgraded? Barricade, I think, is maybe is the only thing to make it a little easier to play. That's it. But. I think resting is useful just because 33 life. And I think we're going to be taking some hits against the elites. It's no question, right? Because our deck needs to take time to get Funeral Pain dual wield. Without it, we do nothing. So we're going to be taking hits, no question. I know we get Pantograph, but I'm saying even with the Pantograph, even with the Pantograph, I'm going to take damage on this elite. And then I'm going to use the Pantograph after that and still be... I guess, it's, I guess it's better to show you. The second one could be huge. This dumps our strength. Okay, we didn't get to buy any po attack potion, really? That could be a way to manage the wounds and burns, right? Exhaust all non-attacks. This feels like a weird card to have. I think another trigger, but without it being upgraded, I don't know. I think we do attack potion and call it a day. Clash got here because we needed some offense, Act 1. And I said, you know what? Clash could be something we could utilize. In fact, Clash Duel was something I used in the early stages of this run. Of course, it manifested into something different. 
and this clash is of course uh kind of a curse a little bit but it ends up being kind of useful sometimes to do a wield it when i get rid of all my skills with corruption and then it drops all my strength but it was necessary at the beginning because i was really not getting good offense and you know it's unfortunate it was a uphill battle server soul i think could aggressively remove some burns or aggressively get field ping, but it doesn't feel that good. I think it's going to be attacked by here. Alright, let me just focus up here though. Alright, it's just for the finale. It's been a long run, but also the run got a little bit longer just because of the. Um... What if we do attack pot now with armaments just to get some damage out? Or maybe an uppercut or something? Do I care about it for the heart? Again, for the heart, it could be like useful as well, just in case I want to get the same kind of reasoning with the debuffs weakened or something like that. Because one thing I realized by putting headbutt first, I'm not guaranteeing the weaken on the heart, and the weaken is very important for the beginning of the fight, but we have a lot of life. I see nothing wrong with doing attack pot now, though, just because we do have armaments right now. It seems fitting. It's whether or not I want to use this resource for this fight or another fight. For a hard fight. Left for Blood Cleave. I think Pommel is important because Pommel gives me card draw, which is exactly what we want to see. Which I guess it would have been nice for the heart. Oh, that's huge. We can headbutt that too. That's huge. Okay. Massive. One thing we gotta consider is that we're getting burns, right? So if we could headbutt, yes, we could headbutt spot weakness, but since we're getting burns, maybe it might be better to. Had but Palmer Strike to get some cards that are not burns. I have two I have two funeral pains, right? So I can know how to hold this one, but I want to hold this one because I find dual wield, I started off right away and then we win the fight. But So what we want to get the strength skilling, of course, but the thing is we either we do strength skilling again or we do card draw because of the burns. All that being said, we can take damage. Not only do we can take damage because of our we can take up to 25 with Pentagraph, we can take up to 31 damage. So either way, I think I'd rather prioritize the strength scaling and hope for the best. And I know that seems like a bad mentality, but I'd rather prioritize strength scaling here. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to Phenopena for the dual wield. And again, we could have done it now, because I have two of them. But uh, it's worth waiting here. Alright. Okay, we can take we can take this damage. I mean it's not ideal, but So we got the dual wield of and we also got Fiend Fire. So that's a good way to dump not only this hand, but get some block in the process. Don't think I have the energy though. But this should be the worst of the fight. The worst part of it, rather. Um, let me see something. One, two. That's a one. I can play two funeral pains. No, I have madness. I mean, I guess it kind of sucks to, like, lose Whirlwind, right? It sucks to lose that. One of the reasons why we took this card, but we need the block here. Okay. Barricade. Feed gives us some block. We need corruption at this point. And another Fiona Pena, we should be fine. I want to try to feed on this fight, but it's secondary consideration. I'm kind of just thinking about doing it now. But anyways, we have a decent amount of strength, so we should start doing damage. The only problem is I didn't really get rid of the artifacts, which is coming up next turn. I, the damage that we're taking is fine. Often this fight hurts you a lot more than the heart does, which is the way it works. Only problem is I don't have disarm. 
It's a big, big problem. And I feel like my weaken is a little bit inconsistent, so... Lack of disarm and lack of weaken. Could be, could be a problem. Health should be helping them with that. We don't have Reaper, but that's fine. Um, we could get a Relic here that could help us with that, or a card, or a potion, so let's see. But yeah, we're gonna do Feet, because I think that the block is more important here. I kind of want to hold on to the skills because of corruption coming up. And these skills will end up being a lot more once corruption is out here with Final Pain. But. But it's okay. Um, Alright, so if we take all this damage. I want to preserve my life total, yes. So maybe I just do both the defense and the feet. But. With my lack of skills coming up, maybe. Stop it. Stop that. Stop that. Stop. No. Um, with my lack of skills coming up, maybe I should probably hold onto these skills, and that can end up blocking for a lot more once corruption's out. So I think we gotta make that choice. Gotta make that choice. Now we could wait for feed as well, but then we're missing out on 12 HP right there. And again, this is gonna be 12 block that I'm getting. 12 HP. But the potential block that I'm getting from corruption is gonna far outweigh it. And it sucks that we took that much damage, but it is what it is. I want to bash. I want to bash Spider Shield, so I can kill it once the block is done. But at the same time, this guy's already open. I can easily kill this guy just as well, and we one v one against this guy. Either way, we have a lot of excess blocks, so um, I'm totally fine here. I just want to get my damage out, and I don't really want to waste bash on the shield there. We can do a build, um... We can see what we do a build here. We can do a build Iron Wave, I guess. Doesn't really matter. We could have done Feed Dual, but I feel like I would have... It cost too much HP to do that, right? Alright, so we're going to the heart with like... ...79 HP. Funai. Entrench. Whoa. That's, that's an interesting card. It might be excessive. It might be excessive. But maybe once we get the corruption out with the Fetal Pain, we get very low on life. I use the Entrench after all of that. Get a crazy amount of block. And hopefully at that point, that block that I have, plus the strength scaling that I did. And I just go for the finish of the fight and hope that I win. Entrench could get in the way of things, right? It could be very awkward early on. And I'm like, oh man. It's Entrench. But... I suppose it could also be very useful. The thing is, I feel like I already win. So once I get Dibble with Finipine out and Corruption out, I think we already win the fight. 
Because at that point we're going to change skilling and we already have crap ton of block. But actually, with no disarm... With no disarm on the deck, you know, maybe something in trench like might, might need it to save me. I think I might need this. The power potion could be useful as well. We don't have as much HP as I would like. But we got the weaken right away, and we got the shockwave. I wonder if I do the power potion now, or do I wait for dual wield? I feel like I had to wait for dual wield, just, just out of the potential of what it could be, right? And we could get kunai as well. If I do clothesline, headbutt feed, and keep shockwave, I could get kunai as well. And shockwave is better to keep because I want to maybe keep that for when he has artifacts. So I can get rid of the artifacts and weaken him again. And the vulnerable is not as important now. And I think the kunai is pretty important. The only thing about headbutt is like, I want to utilize this to... A, if I do dual wield on this power potion, right? So let's say I do dual wield on the power potion. I want to headbutt that dual wield back for the next funeral pain. And B... For spot weakness for scaling, to get the scaling out of the way and then I can focus on the other parts of things. So maybe with that being said, I do clothesline, feed, whirlwind. And... That's probably better. Well, if I do have both clothes, then I can guarantee the weaken for the next attack as well. Because this weaken is not going to be guaranteed for his multi-attack or big attack. Whatever, which one ever it is. The other one. But I still think it's better to maintain headbutt for potential dual wield stuff, right? Less retrievals. And yeah, we wait on the power potion here. Alright. We gotta do a wield with the power potion. Whoa. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You can go barricade now, which is quite nice. You can also do a wheel juggernaut. Upgrade and do a wheel juggernaut. That's 21 block per every time you get. 21 attack every time you get a block. Right? 21 attack before every time you get a block. Now. I don't know if that's, that's, that's not that important, though. I think barricade is a lot more important just because. Get it out right now. We don't have to worry about the second barricade. And now we can hold on to dual wield for the eventual one of the funeral pains I have in the deck. The other things we can do in flame. And we can get nine strength right now. Nine strength. Which definitely helps get things rolling. But So, yeah, it, it does suck. I mean, okay, so I think the Juggernaut is... Sure, the damage is nice, and that, maybe I can end the fight quicker if I have 21 block per, 21 attack per block. And when I'm doing the funeral pain stuff, that can ends up being very, very rapid killing. It's only, because, it's only if I feel like my deck is struggling with kill power, and it might struggle with kill power because, yes, I have strength scaling, but I do lack, I do lack the strength dumping cards a little bit, and I don't have body snap right. I might not have the damage. I don't have Thorn Pots, I don't have Flame Bearers, I don't have Drink Dumping Cards, necessarily. And... I might be short on damage. Now here's the thing about Barricade, right? The thing about Barricade is that... I already have one in my deck, yes, but also, is Barricade even gonna give me block right now? If Barricade's not going to provide block right now, it's probably worth it to not take Barricade just because if it's not going to give me block, it's not doing anything. And the next turn, I'm probably not going to save block anyways because the next turn is a big attack. It's only then after the fact where Barricade is useful, but I'm going to draw into mine anyways. So I think the damage might be more important, but let me just double check. Because it could save me a lot of trouble just to get the Barricade out. And I can just focus exclusively on Dual Funeral Pain. And it just gives me a little bit more tempo, so I don't have to worry about the barricade. You think I keep... So with the things, I could always bring dual wheel back with headbutt. That's why I kept it. Yeah, I'm not gonna get enough block. I know that. We also have Entrench, keep in mind. I mean, now we can hold on to Entrench, but again, we have headbutt to manipulate all both of these things. But headbutt can't manipulate both dual wheel and Entrench. I have to make a decision. 
So maybe I don't need I don't maybe need to do a juggernaut, maybe that's excessive. But now is a good time to do dual wield because of the fact that it's free. And you just get a lot of value out of that. Um next turn is not gonna be that bad. I think I think we have to have a dual wield any, anyways, and we keep entrenching our hands. And okay, barricade is not gonna get any extra blocks, so we're gonna go ahead and do juggernaut dual wield. So we're gonna do armaments, dual wield, they're gonna play all of them. We're gonna do the shockwave, and then we're gonna headbutt the dual wield back. Hold on trench for when we eventually get all the block, but that dual wield is gonna be important for the funeral pain coming eventually. Problem here is these nasty statuses. Gotta survive next attack, which we will. And we gotta hopefully get some good draws, and then the next attack I need to have everybody be online, or I might be in trouble because I don't have. The um, I can't do all that. Actually, I can't do armaments, deal with and shockwave and headbutt. But I can always do shockwave next turn. I can always do shockwave next turn. That's fine. I mean, I want to prioritize shockwave next turn. Hmm. Either way, I want to do this. I suppose I could do Madness on Headbutt, or Shockwave, or Entrench. Oh, they're slimed. <laughs> I could also Headbutt next turn as well, I know. I'm trying to think what's more important, because if I Headbutt dual wield next turn... Next turn I want to be focused on blocking anyways, right? So... The thing is, getting Funeral Pain out next turn... It doesn't have that... Next turn I'm focused on blocking anyways, as best as I can. So let's do dual wield juggernaut. The damage should be good, I feel like. It should be fine. It's 30 damage now, and then there's gonna be like 40 something next turn. Uh, it's probably gonna give me more than 30 because I'm not gonna have enough block. So it's gonna be like 30. Mm. I could die. I could die if I get statuses or something. How willing am I to really take all these backers? Maybe I don't dual wield. Maybe I don't do it well at all, because I feel like the the beat of death is not irrelevant. Considering I'm not guaranteed to get that much block next turn, and I'm going to take like another big swing, 40-ish. We're taking a lot here. Yeah, but doing the damage by the display blocking is like... Seven damage is still decent enough, whereas if I'm dead, I can't do damage at all. I'm not gonna die either way. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. It's gonna be close, though, obviously. We're definitely gonna have to draw this sooner than later. These statuses don't make it easy, and yeah, it's all whether or not when I draw Final Pain. I don't think we. Twenty-one damage. Yeah, the damage is really nice. Twenty-one damage. Yes, it is. It is. It is. But if I think it's gonna make me get killed, I don't think I should do it. And we do have strength skin. We should be okay with strength. I would say we don't want paper frog, but our strength is okay. It's not perfect. I'm not gonna do it both here. I think the beat of death is not irrelevant. If I keep dual wield in the deck, if I keep dual wield in the deck, I can do well the next funeral pain with headbutt and completely pop off. And that should buy me enough time to get a really big entrench at the end of all that. The thing is, if you want to, 
if we save corruption, we can get spot weakness scaling, right? Because if we do corruption now, we're at most getting 8 strength. 8 strength to do enough damage to the heart. Of course, we have Juggernaut, but... Anyways, let's look at the turn here. I keep the dual wield. I can headbutt it, do the dual wheel again, get a crazy amount of block. Which can lead to up to a huge entrench, and then that buys me a little bit more time. I think I want to keep the dual wield. So let me just see how I want to play this out, though. I do have ounces nine. Okay, I play one card first. What card do we play first? The problem is I don't want to play any card first. Oh my god, this is tough because like I want to use Sentinel as a skill to get blocked for this turn. I don't want to play corruption first. Cause I want to keep dual wield. I guess we can get rid of slime, but I want to use the slime as well for block because of funeral pain. But maybe I, I'm gonna have a decent amount of block anyways. I don't need to keep all of these. Like Manus is gonna give me block. Manus is gonna give me block. Sentinel is gonna give me block. Manus, slime, and Sentinel is gonna give me block. In a decent amount, and I'll have enough life to survive. And then from there, we should be enough to pop off. So I could just have to play one of them. That's only because if I, if I keep dual wield, which I feel like it might be excessive to keep it when I'm already going to have 16 Funeral Pain block per card versus the extra 8 I could be getting from it. Yeah, but I want, it, I want the exhausted now because I need the energy. No, but I want to play all the Funeral Pains now. So I think I'm gonna play slime, and then we're gonna do dual wield funeral pain, and then funeral pain, funeral pain, funeral pain, funeral pain, corruption, funeral pain, funeral pain, sentinel, madness. No, I want to do madness for the block. The exhaust is important for funeral pain after the fact. No, 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 madness is. It's, it's. I mean, I guess they both exhaust, sure, but. I get more better mana strikes and it's after corruption. Um, so what I'm gonna do is slime. I, mean, I, I guess I can do the math. I guess I can take the time to do the math, right? So I get down to 46. And then I'm gonna do dual wield on the funeral pin. Down to 44. All right, down to 44, but also I'm at three energy. Three energy part is important. I play Funeral Pain once, I'm at 42, I play Corruption, I'm at 40, I play Sentinel, I get Block, play the next Funeral Pains, bam, bam, play Madness again, I get Block, I'm at 40, but I'll have enough Block, for sure I'll have more than 11 Block at the end of all this, and what, then I, I'll survive, so I think the best play is Slime, Do will funeral pain, funeral pain, corruption, sentinel, funeral pain, funeral pain. Okay, now, yeah, but we're not gonna we're not gonna get excess block here. We're not getting excess block here. It's just fine. You know, that's not the that's not the point here just yet. Now, all that's if I care about maintaining dual wield. Now, the alternative, if I do corruption first, corruption, dual wield, funeral pain, funeral pain, funeral pain, sentinel. I got a little bit more block, but I think keeping dual wield is worth it. Okay, so let's just do it. I guess if we do madness first, so I don't, I don't really care about madness targets actually, right? I don't really care about madness targets. This does save me some energy potentially. It's like it saves me some energy here, makes it more likely to get more funeral pains off, but also like don't really care about the target of madness. I don't think I don't really believe I do. Like, it might help a very. I don't think I care about this. All right. Unfortunate, but whatever. To eight. Oh, 38. I was wrong. 38. 38.
Obviously, Madness after the fact would have been better. But it, there was potential for it to be okay. Okay. We need, we need a free space in our hands. We need a free space in our hands, so I gotta play Bash. I'm gonna get down to 1 HP. Now what's important is that when you play a card that gives you block from exhausting, you don't take the damage first, yeah? I just remember that distinction. So remember that distinction. Now, we could still very much die because of the... Multi attack, but if I were to bring back, get it out to one HP is fine. We can get it out to one HP. So, like, if I were to do evolve bash, just I could need free up space. I guess Evolve is enough to free up space. Evolve is enough to free up space. I'm not bringing Doom World back just yet. And, I mean, Doom World could be another thing I could utilize to get more block, right? But, uh, not just yet. Not just yet. Uh, we gotta hope for the best. I wave armaments, but no, that's fine. Hope that we don't have damage. Okay, we want to play as little possible because we want to maximize because of the, the funeral pain and things. We're going to be running out of skills, and that's it's going to be very troublesome. And I don't know if we have enough strength. We're running out of skills. Obviously, saving corruption helps, but. Maybe I should save some skills here as best as I can. Like, if I were to end turn, I get. Can you stop, buddy? So the biggest thing we're gonna have to be doing is like have to get a massive entrench and that has to just buy me time. Why are you guys doing that? What's going on? You okay? They're like right underneath me, crying. And that's it, Barry. No, Barry wasn't better. Barry wasn't better because uh we weren't gonna make excess block anyways. Anyways. This is gonna be 17 block. No disarm sucks, but that's fine. 17 block. So when I when I enter I'm at 39, right? If I enter I'm at 39. So if I were to do like let's say iron wave, I get five block. I get five block with iron wave. And then, um, so that brings me up to 32, and then when I end turn, I get to 44, and then I take one damage. And I think that's the play, because I want to keep the skills. And we're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. So I think the play is to do Iron Wave in the pass. Okay, because we're not Barricade yet, so we got to maximize as much block as we can. Barricade's not better than Jug, it's not better, because we weren't making extra block. And damage is probably a priority because that can't do much strength skilling. So the math is correct, right? And turn. Take one damage. Did he do painful stabs yet? I gotta figure what's going on with my dog here.
Okay. Got the second fetal pin. Got the barricade. Okay. So, ghostly. I mean, again, we, to an extent, we want to maximize as much as possible because of the next fetal pain, but... Obviously, we can't die here, so we got to get barricade out. So, when this gets rid of itself, 12. This is... 22 block. 22... 34 block. Minus 2. Sorry. Sorry. 34 block. 32 block. If I want to do a headbutt then, it's going to be... 30 block. If I want to do bash so I can reapply the vulnerable. Oh, I can't do any of that stuff. I can't do headbutt and all that stuff because I don't have energy. Okay. Let's get an exhaust anyway, so it's better to play this. And it's important that I get barricade out, of course. And I guess we have to play with one defend, and that's totally fine because we still have enough skills to make it worthwhile. Especially considering we're going to be doing well again, plus we're going to be getting a big entrench. Should be enough. So I'm not too worried about losing this one as well. We're just short of block here. Like, if I would take one more HP, that would be perfect, but I can't. So I'm going to play this one. It's okay to lose that one, it's fine. That's totally fine. Of course I want a headbutt, but I don't have the opportunity to. I mean, a headbutt would be nice, because for this run I want to be doing Funeral Pain stuff. Right? This, I want to be doing Funeral Pain stuff, but I... I couldn't, I need to get barricade out. It sucks. Um... Trigger wound just second more space here, but again, I want to maximize my skills as much as possible. So, even now, I don't want to play any skills because I'm trying to maximize when I do headbutt, funeral pain, funeral pain, and then I play my skills to get a lot more block out of it, and the trench is even better. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to run out of my skills and I have to be attacking him and hope for the best. I mean, it's kind of troublesome, but I have to maximize as much block as possible, otherwise, we're just going to die, and I need to start killing him after the fact. I don't want Fiddle Pain now because I, I deliberately want to do Fiddle Pain again with Dual Wield. Um, so I can get even more. So that when I do the skill stuff and then the Entrench, it's a massive amount of block that buys me a lot of time. I did that intentionally, but the thing is... We also have to draw, right? So... If I were to do... Bash, Iron Wave... And make one, so bash, iron wave, headbutt, get dexterity. And I make one little compromise where I say, one, two, three. I make one compromise and I say, okay, I, I can true grit the wound just to free up space. And that'll be the one of the skills that I play. And from there, we're exclusively looking for, you know, just wait, wait, wait for the final pin. You can't do it with entrenched because entrenched is a skill. Power is attacks. But Iron Wave is something I will be dual wielding. I no, I, Iron Wave is something you can consider dual wielding, but... I already have two Iron Waves in the deck. That's more than enough. Plus we have weakens and stuff. I don't think I can focus on... No, we need we need the Funeral Pain with Entrenched. I like my plan. Let's just go ahead and do it. I'm gonna need to... So I guess true get... Just because of the fact that it gets rid of the wound and it frees up the most space. Sucks to lose that, but... We still have one, two, three... Four... Four skills, plus... I mean, that also is a skill. And entrenches the skill itself. And then we have Fiend Fire, which also gives us a lot of block, if need be. So we're fine. A little dexterity is not bad either. One, two, three. Yeah, so this is the sacrifice I have to make to get full draw. And now we begin 
The damage is quite nice with Juggernaut as well because you know we're starting to do, do some damage as well. Alright, so we have to do with Funeral Pain. I want to do Iron Wave first. Do with Funeral Pain now. Play all three. Finish with spot weakness. Defend, defend. Free up my hand. Try to get some damage in. Because then we're going to do with more skills. I mean, we can maximize our skills even more with armaments, but that's a little excessive, maybe. But excess excessive is good when you're trying to um, get a massive entrench, right? But if you want to maximize with armaments, just a little bit. When you're doubling everything, the maximizing makes sense. Let me see if I can afford that. Iron Wave. <laughs> Dual wield. Play, 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 play. And then, um, I guess we can play like one card. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna maximize it entirely. I really wanna maximize it. I mean, waiting for armaments seems silly, but like, again. We're gonna be doubling it. I th think it's worth it. Now, I guess, is it worth it if I'm losing card draw over it? Because the card draw could bring me closer to bash clothesline, which means I can get the weakening, which also mitigates at like 30 something damage, right? Bash clothesline mitigates 30 damage from the multi hit. 30 damage versus the fact that I'm also getting 24 per skill. 24 per skill, and if I maximize, so if I, if I were to just up, upgrade these, I'm getting like two block from that, and then doubling that, so like four block, just to upgrade that. That doesn't seem worth it, versus the chance of getting bash closing, which is like 30. And it's also damage, because we need to start doing damage as well, so I think maximizing this skill upgrade is probably not that important. Taking the hit now. Oh no, not, I don't think we lose too much in trench value. I don't think we lose too much in trench value. No, I know we get 48 per skill, but what I'm saying is the block portion of that I'm trying to upgrade. I'm talking exclusively the upgrade part. So by upgrading with armaments, since that doubles, that little extra block that I get for upgrading is like four, right? It's four benefit from waiting for the armies to upgrade the defend versus the potential to draw into bash uh, close and not only for damage purposes but for weakened purposes so it's okay to play this now because waiting for armies for these defense these defense doesn't make that much sense is what I'm trying to say card draw is more important again if we do entrench now you can say well, we're taking a hit we're losing trench value but Okay, there is a consideration to that. There is a consideration to that. I'm losing 49. I want to upgrade spot weakness to get a little bit more strength, but maybe that's not. Maybe the entrench is more important to do now. Because if I take 49 and I'm getting down to like, I can bring that back pretty easily with armored spot weakness. Hmm. Maybe. Is this the best entrench I'm going to get? If I wait till next turn, I do... Armaments by weakness. Get similar amounts next turn. I don't know if it's the best entrench I can get. Well, maybe it is. <clears throat> Voice crack. Maybe it is. Armaments. It's my weakness. Might be. Might be. One off from dexterity there, but not gonna matter. We have no skills. 
So getting the weak is important because uh, this mitigates a lot of damage, and of course we want to get bash. No, actually we gotta prioritize bash or weaken. So the weaken saves me block, but I think we have enough block to kind of be okay. Whereas the bash is important because we run up start pushing for the kill. And again, we always have fiend fire worst case scenario, not only for lethal but for block. But like if we in a worst case scenario have to block, we can still leave ourselves with like some cards and just. But either way. What do I do? I care about upgrading anything else, like Iron Wave or something. I think I'm happy doing just like this. Now, uh, I mean, ideally, I want both Bash and Clothesline, but maybe right now I do Clothesline just to save life. Well, right now he's doing. He starts to do painful stabs, and then he gets the strength. So we have a lot of time. Oh, we're fine, dude. We're fine. He has to still do painful stuff and then does good things, the crazy attack. I mean, I mean, I think we have time no matter what. I think we have time no matter what. Maybe I'm, not, maybe I'm being too optimistic. I'll go for the weekend. I'll go for the weekend because the weekend lasts anyways. It's fine. But we're fine. Get dexterity. Wait, what dexterity for what? There's no skills. Lol. Oh, there's iron wave. Yeah, that's true. All right, now let's get the bash and let's start attacking. This, this burn is going to be a pain in the butt. Um, but I think we, we won now. I wave still gets this block, but I don't know if I really care about that. How much is that? It's a shit ton of damage. We'll, we'll, we'll wait to... Well, we get we get Juggernaut, which does really good damage. Juggernaut. How do I frips? No, nah, I'm fine. Painful stabs. Um, we can maintain the weekend for next turn as well. And then we've got to get a little bit closer. Easy clap. A little bit closer. Get the bash again. And then Fiend Fire for winning. Easy clap. Easy clap. Let's do the cleave iron iron headbutt. All right, three zero ironclad streak. Jeez, that was a long ass run, but we're also four out of five ironclad wins. We're done. We're done. Science, let's go. Let me check on my dog. One second. One second.